Doctors at the University of Pittsburgh are using a new treatment for glaucoma that could save the sight of millions of people with the disease. Christine Sorensen is here with more. Christine. Well, Ken, more than 4 million Americans have glaucoma, and more than 100,000 of them go blind from it each year. New this, uh, this is new, minimally invasive surgery, while not being called a cure, could be a permanent solution for those patients. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Six years ago, Rosemary Surgeon found out she had glaucoma, a buildup of fluid in the eye that puts pressure on the optic nerve. Left untreated, damage to the nerve leads to deteriorating eyesight and even blindness. At first, Rosemary treated her disease with eye drops, but then she heard about the new canaloplasty procedure being offered at Eye and Ear Hospital. Our goal in glaucoma surgery is to lower eye pressure. And there's a number of different ways to do it. And how canaloplasty is, is different is that it basically retains the eye's normal architecture. Doctors describe the procedure as like an angioplasty for the eye. They insert a tiny catheter into the eye's drainage canal, which may have become blocked or narrowed, keeping fluids from draining from the eye. And what that does is it makes it easier for the fluid to leave the eye. Um, and the good thing is the patient's not left with a... A, a hole in their eye, which can make them prone to infection. Also, there's it ten, it's difficult to have too much flow out of the eye um, and kind of lower the eye pressure too much, which can make people have blurry vision. Rosemary had her surgery in October and was back to normal in less than three weeks. Not having to deal with nightly eye drops is great, but the surgery provided her with much more than that peace of mind. It's not cured, but it's controlled. So I can, I can be at ease and know that, you know, my eyes are going to be okay. It's something I don't have to worry about anymore. And doctors say canaloplasty is more effective than laser surgery for glaucoma, which is temporary and can cause scarring, or traditional surgery, which has a lot more potential complications. In fact, the procedure is done on an outpatient basis, with patients returning home the same day. For more information on the procedure and how to get in touch with the doctors at UPMC, just log on to kdka.com health. Ken? Thanks, Christine. In an effort to do something about...